Thanks for dropping in. It's time for another You Asked For It video. In this series, I improve or remix older projects based on your requests and feedback. We have a lot of designs to cover, so let's dive in. First up, an update to the print in place twisty puzzle box. Unlocking this tricky puzzle shouldn't require significant force, but in a few cases, makers reported that the puzzle key this part here can snap while solving a tight print. To fix this, I've created two alternate keys. The first alternate key has the same overall design as the original, but the key shaft is printed on its side. This moves the layer lines into a better orientation to deal with stress under torsion. You can glue the key shaft into the handle or just leave it loose like I did here. The second option abandons the original design for a simpler, flat print. It has the extra strength of the original key, but requires less filament and no assembly. The next update is based on the same project. Print-in-place twisty puzzles come in many decorative cases. Two of these case designs, a barrel and a mushroom, were inspired by my love for Nintendo games. If you liked either of these cases, but didn't want to deal with the puzzle, you can now print them as simple twist open containers. The opening for the barrel is hidden under the first hoop, providing a nice seamless look. The top cap is removable. Glue it on for a sealed container or remove it to turn the barrel into a pencil holder. As you'd expect, the lid for the mushroom is the cap. For this update, I used a new thread modeling trick. Without going into too much detail, this thread was created by squishing the model down in the z-axis. Then I applied the Fusion 360 thread tool. When the model is restored to its proper height, the thread gains a steeper pitch. You can tell the difference in this side-by-side -side comparison with the barrel's threads. A steeper pitch is not only easier to print, it results in a lid with more vertical travel per twist. I really like this result so there's a good chance I'll use this technique in future designs. The next update comes from my twist lock box series. These unassuming containers only open when you twist the decorative topper. This update adds a bolt hole to the mechanism spring. Not only is a bolt stronger than using glue, it makes it possible to give an old print a new topper. This update is available for all the standard boxes hexagonal, cylinder, and square. It's also available for the holiday boxes, pumpkin, coffin, present, and Easter egg. I'm really happy with how this update works with the egg. The entire mechanism fits inside this thin ring. That means it's possible to change the overall color of the egg without reprinting these trickier parts. Next, we have an update to a more recent project, the Shutterbox pencil case. The shutter box is now available in a snap together case, no glue required. It can be a little tricky to get everything aligned, so I'll demonstrate what worked for me. First, slide the shutter into its track in the side of the box. Then, starting with the side that has the shutter installed, angle the top case on and press firmly. If the top doesn't snap on, the shutter probably isn't fully seated in its track. Reposition it and try it again. This version of the case also has a thicker 3mm bottom. This is perfect if you plan to inscribe it with text or a pattern. The last update is a new shutterbox format, a simple round puck. This is a good size for storing change, random bolts, or even headphones. The shutter window and the opening are perfectly mirrored. This gives the box a nice symmetry to it. This design uses the same snap together assembly as the updated pencil case. Once again, no glue needed. That's all the updates for now. As always, I'm open to your suggestions on how these designs could be even better. I'm also more than happy to see other makers actively remix and improve my designs directly. If you haven't seen it already, I have a collection on printables that's full of such remixes. I'll link to that in the video description so you can check it out. So until the next video, 
Happy printing, and thanks for stopping by.